We're here with Rowan University after the game one victory at the NCAA Regional here at Lebanon Valley. Just please introduce yourselves. Um, Eli Tia, uh, pitcher. Mike Dixon, head baseball coach. Hans Ironic, catcher. And now, do you have any general reactions after your victory this morning? Yeah, I thought we got right from the get go. Uh, Eli kind of set the tone. It was one, two, three in the first. Uh, we come out, we get we get five in the first. Um, so right from the get go, I thought I thought uh, ready to play, um, and then Eli settled in uh, through the middle part of that game. We were able to expand in the fourth and the seventh, I believe, um, to allow us uh, to continue uh, to work ahead. Uh, Bascoon came in in ninth. Uh, and did a really good job closing it out. Yeah, we'll open it up to any questions. Coach, when you guys are able to build up a five-run lead in that first inning, how gratifying is that? Oh, there's, there's from a coaching standpoint, uh, I've been in games where you're up 17-2 to two and you're still worried about whether you're going to lose or not. So uh, it's exciting when we get out of the get-go and we score five early. Um, uh, settles us down in the dugout a little bit. Um, so, anytime we can do that early in the game, especially with Eli on the mound, we feel good about our, our chances to win. Hunter, you had a couple of really uh, big RBI singles today. You know, how, how did you feel behind the plate today? Um, I thought Eli, Eli was hitting every spot behind the plate today. The changeup was moving, the curveball was moving down, located the fastball well, and we just grooved from there. And uh, Eli, you know, you had 116 pitches today. Did you feel a little bit tired after that, after that eighth inning? I didn't think no, I was just more of just juiced up because we were winning. It was a great double play at the end. Uh, my adrenaline just like takes over pretty much and I don't really feel anything like that. And how great it, and how great was it that you had a that you had a bounce back performance after the last outing? Yeah, it felt great just because I mean we got two and out in the tournament, came into here today. A lot of people didn't think we were even gonna win today or win the region. Um, so it's good just coming out here, uh, a whole team uh, played great today and just showing we can do that why we deserve to be here. Coach, going into tomorrow, you know, you take a, a really big win today. What's, what's the uh, message going to be like as far as, you know, in the clubhouse? Yeah, I, I think any time you're in situations like this, and really throughout the year, it's one game at a time. Um, you, can't, you can't get too high, you can't get too low. Um, you, have a, you have a big win, you got to be able to bounce back the next day. Um, so that'll be my message when we get back there uh, to the locker room to the team is, is today's it was awesome it's over with we got to work it on uh, tomorrow's the most important game now. Any other questions? I I just have one. Yeah. Go um, I know he asked about it already. It's for Eli. Hunter, you can talk about it too. Just again, um, the Ramapo start just bounced it back today, kind of making everyone forget about it. But was there anything you guys were? kind of talking about uh, beforehand, kind of like keeping in on what you wanted to focus on, whether it was your curveball or just location-wise overall. Yeah, well, the coaches did a great job of scouting them. So yesterday and prior, to, we went to it knowing who we're playing, what hitters do what, where to pitch them. So it wasn't all me at all. Um, they did a great job. Call, coaches did a great job calling pitches. And after Ramapo, I was told just forget it. Forget it. Never happened and no one cares about what happened in the past, and all that matters is what happens here today. And then my last question I wanted to ask is that, you know, your defense has really been incredible throughout this entire season. You had some great plays, especially by Tyler Cannon, even Ryan Murphy out there in left field. Um, Eli, how, how did you feel um, as, as far as you know, when the defense was having your back? It makes my life a lot easier because I'm more of a pitch of contact guy, so when they're making the plays, it keeps my pitch count down. We're gonna most likely we're gonna win, so it just makes everything easier. I mean, makes Hunter's life easier. Doesn't sit back there for for a long time, so it just makes every it makes the game go way more smooth. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Here you go. Here's your phone.